A separable differential equation has the form the derivative of y with respect to the derivative of x equals g of x plus h of y. Here g of x is a function of x alone and h of y is a function of y. The goal to separate the variable x and y on the opposite of the equation. Rearrange the equation to isolate terms involving x on the other one over h of y with respect to y equals g of x with respect to x. This separation allows us to integrate each side independently with respect to its own variable. Integrate the equation with respect to y on the left side and x on the right side. The equation become integral 1 over h of y with respect to y equals integral g of x with respect to x. The integration will give two antiderivatives integral 1 over h of y with respect to y equals g of y plus c1 and integral g of x with respect to x equals h of x plus c2. Where g of y and h of x are antiderivatives and c1 and c2 are constants of integration, since both sides of the equation equal to each other. Combine the constant of integration into a single constant g of y plus c1 equals h of x plus c2. Let c equals c2 minus c1 giving g of y equals h of x plus c. Isolate y to express it explicitly as a function of x if possible. The solution may sometimes be implicit depending on the complexity of g of y and h of x. Example. Consider the differential equation the derivative of y with respect to the derivative of x equals x times y here g of x equals x and h of y equals y. The goal is to rearrange the equation so that all terms involving y are on one side and all terms involving x are on the other side. This involves algebraic manipulation the derivative of y with respect to the derivative of x equals x times y. We can rewrite this equation by dividing both sides by y and multiplying both sides by the derivative with respect to x gives 1 over y differential y equals x differential x. Now the variables are separated y and the derivative of y are on one side x and the derivative of x are on the other side. Next we integrate both sides of the equation with respect to their respective variables. The integral of 1 over y with respect to y is the natural log of the absolute value of y integration on the right side the integral of x with respect to x is x squared divided by 2. So we get the natural log of the absolute value of y equals x squared over 2 plus c. Here c is the constant of integration. The constant represents an arbitrary constant because the indefinite integral of a function can include many constants value. We have the equation the natural log of the absolute value of y equals x squared over 2 plus c. This is the combined form of the constants. If we wanted we could express c as c2 minus c1 from integrating each side separately but it's simpler to keep it as one constant. 
To isolate why we need to undo the natural log by exponentiating both sides of the equation become y equals e raised to the power of x squared over 2 plus c. Using properties of exponents, we can simply this y equals e raised to the power of x squared over 2 e raised to the power of c. Since e raised to the power of c is just another constant, let's call it c prime so y equals c prime e raised to the power of x squared over 2 we usually denote this constant as simply c for simplicity. Thus the general solution to the differential equation is y equals c e raised to the power of x squared over 2 where c is an arbitrary constant.